Hello, my name is Johnny, and I'm going to, I got the privilege of showing you your new coach. We thank you for your business here at Holman, and uh, I'm going to show you some stuff. If I miss something, feel free to call us at any time. But this is your keyless entry here. You code it yourself. There's instructions for it inside. You can use that, or you can use also the key. Right here, we have, you can bring your TV, your smaller one out, and sit it right here. This is 110. This is a cable coming from inside for your TV, so you can sit out here and watch TV. This is your furnace outlet. Very important that you put a screen on this right away because if something gets in there and messes your furnace up, it awards your warranty if you don't have a screen on here. So this is really mandatory. Very, very, very important. This is your big compartment underneath. This is your wand for your awning underneath by your toy hauler. Got lights in here. And there's your vacuum. And here's your tools for your vacuum right here. This is your two batteries. Power your, uh, it, they charge from your truck or whatever you're pulling this with, and they're also charging right now off the electric on the post. This is your hydraulic fluid. You can use Dextron transmission fluid. You've got all kinds of instruction there. If you forget what I've said, you can always refer back to your instructions, or more importantly, you can always call us and we'll help you. a nice feature right here these are for your jacks extend them retract them for both side both ends okay this is an important feature right here if you're running along the road and you don't want your bed slide out you can turn this off and your bed won't go out you can turn this off this is your kitchen you're probably going to leave both these on but you don't want to run the bed out or any of these out you can turn them off which is a real good feature Underneath here we have your generator. It's just pull, pull it off like such. To start it, you press prime down here at the bottom till the red light comes on. When the red light comes on, you can start it. You might have to prime it twice, but it will start. I've checked it. The mechanics has checked it. What I'm going to tell you next is super, super important. You need to run this generator for two hours every month, minimum, with a full load, as much stuff as you can put on it inside. If you don't do that and you have warranty, you have trouble with this, and they see on your, on your hour gauge in there that you don't have the required running time, it will void your warranty. So I can't stress how important this is. Two hours every month. In here we have your, your propane. Both these are empty. I mean, both these are full, I mean. Both these valves are open. That means if you empty one tank, it'll automatically switch to the other one. Right now it's drawing off of this tank. So. That's, that's the way that works. It automatically switches over. This is your docking lights on the front. Nice docking lights. This is your extra propane tank right there. Got a nice extra tank if you need it. This compartment here goes all the way through to your other side. Right here you have your bypass for your hot, uh, for your hot water heater if you're going to winterize it yourself. You can see right now it's ready to go. You're ready to rock right now. To winterize it you just turn the valves the opposite way like it says winterize. Pretty well marked. This is uh, your, this is your outdoor uh, shower. You got a 
uh, with a hose in there. It's a quick, everything's quick connect. Got hot and cold water out here and a light. This is your winterizing system. If you winterize it yourself, you put a hose on here, put your three gallons of antifreeze on the ground, use your pump in there, onboard pump to pump it through the system. This thing here is your fresh water from the city. You need to put an L on here and also the all important regulator. Do not run this without a regulator because we don't know what the city water pressure is going to be. We don't want no harm to come to your system. This here is your black water tank hose out. Your black water tank valve is open. You can put a hose on here and flush it. Flush out your black water. Really a nice feature. You bring all your stuff through the floor with this thing right here. It turns and comes right out. And I think that's about it in that compartment. This is your 50 amp service. It just slips in, it turns, and we, we're going to give you a thing that goes from 50 to 30, and also we're going to give you a thing that goes from 30 to house current. Probably run anything in here but your air, so remember that. It's your hot water heater. Okay. See this little switch down here in the bottom? <clears throat> it's a toggle switch. It's on gas only right now. Just remember, up, up is gas. Off is gas. Down is electricity. You pull this pin out, put it down, it'll run only on electricity. If it gets overheated, which it might from time to time, you've got little resets right here that might pop. If they do, I've never heard of one doing it, but uh, if it happens, I want you to know what to do. Come out here and check these resets. Just let it cool down and push them back in. That's all there is to it. There's your sewer hose. Here's your black tank valve that's just push pull gray tank is all your other uh, all your other water like sink shower and so forth so you just pull your black first then use that thing I just showed you in there to hose it out shut it and then pull your gray that's all there is to it but again if you forget something I've said to you please call us we'll help you Okay, we got a compartment here. We've got it halfway out. Just remember, uh, you can put your electric cord in here. It'll hold it, and um, it will get wet in here. I, well, I want to tell you that. So, and we can put that back later. Okay, now the next thing we talk about is very, very important. We're going to talk about your roof. The only thing you put on this roof is Dicor, and you can only get it at RV service places. It's a great product. You got one seal in the front, one seal in the back. Get up there twice a year if this unit sits out. Get up there twice a year and check it for cracks or any anything that looks suspicious. We don't want the water in the coach. The beautiful part about Dicor is that you can take soapy water, wipe it off, let it dry, and apply more Dicor with a caulking gun right over top of it. It's self-leveling, it's a great product, and it is the only product you use on the roof. Next, we're gonna talk about seals. This is your seal right here, and we wanna keep it pliable with silicone spray. Keep that thing pliable, don't let it dry out, because that's protection against the water in this coach. We sure don't want no water in there. So I can't stress enough, the die core and the seals. Very, very important. Here's your pump for your toys. Make sure you ground it before you use it. 
This is a grounding right here. A lot of people just carry a metal tent stake, drive it in the ground, and put this on it, and you're well grounded. Then you can pump out of your nozzle. This is for your generator. It's an 18 gallon tank for your generator up front that I just showed you. It's 18 gallons. This is for your toys. It's 30 gallons. So you can turn it, turn a pump on right here. You can see how much fuel you got, and it's uh, you're ready to go, ready to have fun. Your ladder's inside. It just slips over the top. It fits in the ease. You cannot drive with it because it makes this thing too wide. That's why it's off here right now. Your tailgate just comes down. Pull this up. Pull it like that and pull the gate down. I ain't got room to do it here. So, But if you run any problems, please call us. That's what we're here for. These are vents. Keep your toy, uh, toy compartment ventilated. I'll show you how to use them when we get inside. I'll show you this right now. This don't look like it's don't look like it's going to stay there. That's the way it's intended. You might not you think it should see. No, we don't want that. With two doors, if you do this, if someone forgets, it comes out this door, they won't break this off. It swings. So just remember that. This is your back of your fridge. There's nothing you can do in here. It's all tech work. You got this little doodad right here. It just lets condensation out and it keeps the critters out. So I'm going up in there. This is your outdoor speakers. And I think we've covered the outside. Let's do the awning right away. I got the awning part way out. I couldn't, haven't got room to put it all the way out. But it's just really simple. That's the extent. Well, yeah, I can put it all the way out. That's all the way out. And then, I must stress on you, the awning is just for a real light rain. Real light. And no wind hardly at all. If you got any kind of wind at all, you need to put this awning up. When you go shopping and leave the unit unattended, you need to put the awning up. When you go to bed at night, you need to put the awning up. It's fragile. It's not like the old heavy canvas. If you've ever had one of them, you can't do the same with these as you did those. I like to sit out in a light drizzle, and that's fine. With a light breeze, it's fine. And you can tilt it down by using that knob up there and pulling that in. You can tilt it down. But I'm stressing to you, light, light drizzle, light being the key word here. We're going to put it in. And that pretty much does it for the outside.